Hello there and welcome to this little introduction to Microsoft Teams for pupils, parents and carers. Now a lot of you may have used Microsoft Teams a bit, a lot of you may have never used it before. So this is an introduction to what it is and how it works and how we get started. So first of all, a little bit about what Microsoft Teams is. It's, it's an app, a, a cloud-based app, which means that everything it does is based on the internet. So you need an internet connection to use it, but you don't need a special powerful computer or anything. It's an app which will allow you to communicate to do live lessons to do schoolwork and for parents or and to help you and see what you've done and for, for teachers to leave feedback on your work it's and it all works in real time so it's a little bit like a web browser in that it can do lots of things in one place without having to jump between different apps so for instance if you were on BBC Bite Size website you could open another tab and go to another another website if you're using a browser in just the same way in Microsoft Teams you've got lots of things like Word the calendar functions live lessons for meetings and all sorts of other stuff all in one place so you never need to leave the app and the key thing here is as, as, as I said it's all on the internet so using Microsoft Teams you could be using all sorts of different computers a Windows 10 computer an Apple computer a Chromebook an Android tablet, an iPad, a smartphone, and all of these different things can run Microsoft Teams. You can use it using a web browser, such as Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, um, Safari from Apple. So if it's on a modern browser, you can use it. You can't use some older browsers such as Internet Explorer. If you are using it on a tablet, you can simply visit the Google Play Store or the App Store, and you can download the app from there to use it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and look at how we actually get to Teams in the first place, open up and so on. So here we go. First of all, you can open up your browser. So I'm just going to type in Teams here in the search. And the very first thing that comes up there is Microsoft Teams. So I'll click on that and I'm going to choose to sign in to my account. And you'll use the account details which you've been given by the school. So click on there. It will ask for your username. So here we are, sign in. So I'll put that one in there. Next, it's going to ask for your password, so you type that one in. Again, you'll be given this by the school, and you sign in. Now, it might ask you whether you want to stay signed in. If it's a personal private computer you use a lot, yes, you can. If it's a shared one, then it's a good idea not to stay signed into things on shared ones because other people can access your stuff. To begin with, it's going to ask you whether you want to use the web app or whether you want to get the Windows app. I'm on a Windows computer here, so this would be to actually download the app. Um, I personally would recommend that you do get a better experience from it but it works just as well really in the web app as well so if I use the web app it will open up in your browser which I'll do here now I'm using a test account this is um, one I use for teaching and training so your account would actually only have one class in here normally it's the routing class is the one I'm going to do today and when you log into teams you will see all the different classes on here but as I said your one will just have one class on so I'll click on routing class that's my class now down the side of the screen here, we have a few different things we'll quickly look at. We have activity. This will show you anything that's been going on in your teams and it will list it all, all the different things which your teachers posted for you. You probably won't have chat or calls on there uh, because in primary school, normally those are turned off because there's, otherwise it could be used as social media and we really want this to be a teaching thing uh, and we wanted to keep it safe for everybody to use. Calendar will probably be switched off as well, but again, you don't actually need that to join into your live lessons and so on. So other things on here, we have our assignments. That shows us any assignments which our teachers set for us. Just coming up here, you see I've got two assignments there which I need to do, which haven't been completed yet. And Teams shows us what we've got there, any, any groups we're in. Now inside your team, you will find there's a channel here called a general channel. And that basically is a way of putting everyone in the team into one place. And inside, if we go across here, you don't need to really worry about this part. But over up here, we have posts, files, class notebook, assignments and grades. So post is you're going to be your main place you want to be looking at all the time. In post is where you'll find out what you need to be doing. So whenever you go on to when you log into your Microsoft Teams, have a look in the post section. It's also having a look worth having a look in the assignment section, either up here or over here. They take you to the same place. So in the posts here, I can see that my teacher wants me to try the adverbs challenge that tells me to go to my class notebook and try the all about adverbs exercise. So up here it says class notebook. This is like your online exercise books, your online school books. So you click on there. And then you click over here on the side to open it up and it will show you the different sections. Now that one said I needed to go to the to my own notebook. Here we are. This this student's called Al Fredrickson. And it told me to go to English and it told me to go to the page that's called All About Adverbs. 
Now once I'm in here, I can try out doing this exercise. Now there's also some things to notice here. If you see one of these things and you hover above it and it turns into a, a little hand, you can see a website comes up. This is where your teacher may put in some help for you. So if I click on this, if I'm not sure, it's going to open up the BBC Bite Size Adverbs website and I can get a bit of help to remind me what I was doing. Back in here now, on here I want to try and highlight the adverb, so I can just go to draw here, choose my highlighter just like you would in class, and I can start highlighting my adverbs. Okay, and when you're finished, your teacher will actually be able to write things on here as well, and you'll be able to see what your teacher's written. So I'm going to go back into my posts now and have a look at something else. So I've just had a look at the adverbs one, another one here, it says go to a topic section of the collaboration space in your notebook and open the Marvellous Minds What Would You Like to Know page. OK, so again, class notebook. Now in your class notebook, we just spoke there about a different space, a collaboration space. If I just press on this little arrow again, it opens up all the different places. So I've got my own notebook here with the different bits, different sections in it. But I've also got here two places which are controlled by my teacher. The collaboration space, and that's where everyone in the class can write on things. And the content library, that's where my teacher can put things which they want to share out. So I was told to go to the topic section, into the Marvellous Minds, what would you like to know? And I've been asked to add on my idea here. So I can just click again on the screen, click on a new bit. So here we are. It asked me to put in my initials here, so Al F. Uh, what did they eat? Okay, that's my question. And now that will automatically be there for everyone to see, and everyone will be able to join in with this as well. Quickly back into my posts again here. And I've got another one here, I've got an assignment. In fact, I'm going to go to my assignment section and see what else I've been set here. So assignments is kind of like work which has been set for you. I've been asked to do this one, so I click on the first one. And it says, read or listen to the poem by Kit Wright. Think of your own ideas so you can write your own magic box poem in class. And it's got the, it's got the material, got the things I need here. So I click on there. It will now open up the poem which I needed with the magic box here. Now again, it did say read or listen to because the teacher here has put a link in here so sometimes I don't know I find it easier to learn when I hear somebody reading to me so I can click on there and it's going to take me to the poem with Kit Wright reading his own poem now once I've finished with that I can close it and I can press hand in and this will tell my teacher that I finished doing the work they wanted you often see a nice little thing come up here as well when you hand it in so I've done that assignment and I'm ready for my lesson tomorrow. Sometimes you might also get an assignment, assignments you see here now that assignments move from, from assigned to completed because I handed it in. Another one here I've been asked to do, this time though rather than reading something it's asked me to write a diary entry as if I were a child living in the ancient Mayan world. And again the teacher has set me the work here so I can click on that. It's going to open up my notebook for me. Again, my teacher thinks maybe I need a bit of help, perhaps I can't remember what to write about. So I can click here, they put a link in to help me, I can click on that one, and it's going to take me to a page all about the Mayan civilization. So I can do a bit of learning to get my ideas together for what my assignment will be. And to start writing, I just click in here, and I can start writing. These boxes here can be stretched out as well. So if you want to make it wider or narrower, whatever you want, you can do it the way you like. You can even do handwriting on these as well if you go to draw here and click on the pen. And if you've got a touch screen, you can do handwriting on them too. And again, when this is finished, I click close, I press hand in. That will tell my teacher now that it's been handed in. And my teacher then will be able to um, put some comments on there to let me know they've marked it. And when those comments came in, in fact, I might even be able to show you that. Let's have a quick look. I'm going to go to the teacher's side now, just so you can see what happens when they mark it. So I'm going to the teacher's grade sheet here. You'll see here that the teacher, as I said, can see that the work's been handed in. So the teacher now can open up the student work and give you some feedback, just like they would in your book in school. So, great work. Now I felt like, oops, I was there with you. Okay, and your teacher might even want to put some stickers in there as well for you just to make you feel happy because everybody likes stickers. Let's just put a quick sticker in there. And if we've got a well done, oh, can't see it there. Let's do a, well, let's not do a sticker for now actually. We've got all sorts of funny stuff in there. So, high five perhaps. That's a bit of a strange one. Why not do that one? So, the teacher can put a sticker in there and I'm going to jump back into Al's account now. Um, actually, I'll just hand that one in. So, teachers put a high five sticker in there to say well done. 
drag that one down and now the teacher's going to return the work and if I go back over to Al's account now which would be like your account give that just a moment you can see another announcements come up here you can see it's come up in chat and activity I can click on there and it will tell me that the work's been returned click on there and here we are I can see the comments by my teacher so that is a really quick starter to what Microsoft Teams is. It's a great place for your teacher and for you to communicate, to share ideas, to do work and so on. And as you start to use this more, you will learn all sorts of other things it can do. Just as I showed you before, the posts area here, if your teacher sets up a live lesson with you, you'll find a link for, the, for, link for that in here as well. So you can join the meeting through there. In fact, let me quickly show you that now as well. So if my teacher were to set up a meeting, or a live lesson let's quickly do that here and we're going to let's do one on Wednesday at three o'clock and we'll call it a verbs lesson now I'm not going to do much with this because I'm just doing it very quickly it's going to send it out to a whole class the teacher might tell you what needs to be done in there they're going to send out the meeting to you and if I go back into the child's account now you can see it's popped up here verbs lesson Wednesday the 28th of October 3 o'clock so when the time comes I can just click on that link there and then I can click on to join the meeting and that's it so there you are Microsoft Teams a great way to learn together for live lessons for doing work for writing for doing pictures for doing all sorts of stuff it's a really nice safe place for us to do our work together so I hope you enjoy using this and I hope that you get some fun and get some great work done with your teachers